Let's look at Ascension My Learning. The easiest way to get into my learning is by using the uh, Internet Explorer. That takes us to our SharePoint site. And then once we're in our SharePoint site, we can hover over the drop down beside site, click on my learning. And then we're going to choose the My Ascension Portal Users site. Sign in with your uh, username and your password. And then notice that um, at the top, we're going to have our banner bar with a little house in the center there that we can click on to bring us back to uh, the main page. We have a search tool. And then in the center, it's telling us that there's a learner guide and learner modules about my learning. So you can click on never show again, or you can just close it uh, to make that uh, continue to pop up. Uh, as a reminder that you can do that at any time. So once we've done that, we have a sign out. I always sign out of my learning, just like we do any other uh, program that we have. And then we have a box that has our name and our to-do list and our transcript in it. Also has a search tool, uh, and we have a search tool up in our banner bar. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our to-do list. As a new hire, you should have modules already assigned to you, and they will have a due date listed on them. If they don't have a due date, then it's a given that they're due within your first 90 days. I'm going to go back to um, look at our transcript. So once you've done a few modules or attended a few classes, then you will have those listed on your transcript. And where this becomes important is when you might need to print it uh, when you are doing your yearly evaluation. Take it with you to your evaluation with your manager and be able to prove to them that yes, you did all the modules you were supposed to do and attended the classes and that you passed that class. You can, after a while, you might need to change the date range uh, to look back to a previous course that you took maybe two years ago. If it needs to be renewed every two years, then you'll need to know exactly what date it was that you did that. Uh, so I'm going to click on the house to go back to the home page. And we're going to search for some modules that you need to assign for yourself. And that kind of helps you know what to do when you need to also sign up for a class. So like I said, you can use the search tool. When you use this one, it pops up a little message here about how to type it in. Um, so I'm gonna click on OK, and it would take us directly to that search window. But if you click on the search tool that's in the banner bar, it skips that one step, saves you a click. So when you are searching for a module, you want to type in the keywords associated with that module. So I'm going to say adult sepsis. So it's going to pull up the uh, most likely classes at the top. Um, if you use type in the keyword and use your enter key. If you use the search icon at the end of that search tool, it may bring up lots of other classes before it actually gets to the one that is your most likely option. So it's um, Introduction to Optimizing Adult Sepsis Management. That's the one I want. So I'm going to go over to the right to my select button and I want to click on start. You don't want to click it on click on add to playlist um, because you may not be able to get back to it. So we're going to click on start, which means it's going to take us into the program to that first page. This is your description and introduction to that. So then I'm either going to cancel out of this or I'm going to use the X to get out of that first page because all I want to do right now is put it on my to-do list. So now I see that it is in 
uh, status is in progress and I can click on OK. So now if I would go to my to-do list and look for sepsis, Introduction to Optimizing Adult Sepsis Management, there it is in progress. And it can just stay there until I get time um, to, to work on it and then I would go over to the right and I would actually start. And it would take me back to that same page that I was on. So if you ever have to leave a module, um, make sure you um, exit out using the X or um, exit the course and it'll take you back to the same page you were on when you left it. So I would continue adding those modules that are uh, uh, left for us to add as a learning tool. And then if I wanted to attend a class, um, I would do the same thing. I would click on um, the search icon and I would type that in. So I'm going to, I want to go to a, um, a review co course for med surge nursing. So it's going to be a, a, certif a certification for uh, med surge uh, RN review course. Could have clicked on the one that said 2000 or 2020. Uh, so then I would go over to the right and I would go ahead and register for this course. When I click on that, it'll open up the next five upcoming offerings in chronological order, and I could add the one that I wanted and then go down and register for it. If uh, this was offered, let's say, every two months and I wanted to go to one that was outside of those next five offerings, then I could just click on that drop down and choose all upcoming offerings and it would have those listed for me also. But remember you click on the add button and then it opens up the register button for you to actually get into the class. So you'll see um, where it's located, what time it, it, that it starts uh, and finishes and how many seats are available when you're looking at this. If you did register for that then and went back to your uh, to-do list, then that would be showing and you could actually click on the title and it would open up and show you that pertinent information. Um, the other thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that you sign out. Thank you.